Hey folks, Olaf here from LSE Services and when I have Florida. Like we have already a couple videos on the internet, uh, especially on YouTube, regards converting a Lincoln Worldpack 100 over to be capable of handling gas. In other words, you have to install a solenoid. Here's a quick review on how to proper install it. So as you can see, here's the factory hole on your weld pack, just a little bit enlarged with a Dremel and the proper stone set on it. When you look on the inside, what I've done, I'm sorry for the camera being shaky, I'm just using here one hand. You can see this is the solenoid you can buy on the internet off of eBay, for example. Uh, you can also buy it on Amazon, I believe it. So what do you do? You have to get um, the existing holes almost perfectly lined up with this solenoid. The only thing which is missing is an additional hole, which I'm gonna about to show you guys. On the side from here, you can see it. What I've done is I drilled an additional hole on the top which almost perfectly lines up with the hole below which is a factory mount hole for the solenoid. Um, sadly enough this welder which I bought off of um, OfferUp didn't came with it so I had to buy the additional part uh, which was around $30. These screws are stainless screws. Um, I believe they are 532s, um, but I would have to double check it. Um, they are only like seven, eight millimeter long. Um, this way they grabbing into the thread just nicely and you just tighten them with a small island wrench and that's it. Uh, at Home Depot, you can actually get the hose, uh, which comes, let me show you guys. And a much larger wheel, uh, slash roll, which is from Everlast. A hose which is rated to 130 psi. It's a 10 foot polyethylene. It has a 316 inner diameter, which is the important part. And what you can do is also you can get all the brass fittings at Home Depot. Make sure that you're using the gas tapes because the white silicon uh, tape is not really lasting long. Here's my flow meter. With the flow meter you can also, um, this one comes already with a hookup. You can actually buy also while you're already at Home Depot the proper Everbuilt. I bought the 25 foot because they didn't have anything shorter available at that time. So it's a quarter inch inner diameter. So make sure when you get your brass pieces that the port which I'm holding right now fits into your hose proper. Um, most of the time you can actually open up the package at Home Depot and quickly try it out making sure that your hose is actually fitting. And so when it's installed proper and I can actually hook it back up if you guys want but what it does is, uh, let me hook it up quickly here in the wall. Sorry for the camera. What you guys do here is once you have it turned on and all hooked up, and it gets hooked up actually to the solenoid port on the control board, uh, which you can now see. Sorry for the camera, I'm trying to do this freehand. So there's a solenoid um, pin already existing, actually two. Uh, it's H1 and H2 on the circuit board. So that's where you hook up your solenoid to. And once that's hooked up, pretty much all there is to it is running the hose. If you want to clamp it down, feel free to do so, but mine snuck fit tight on it. So I don't really have to do that. But once you have that all done, and most of the time this little hole up there is already pre-drilled, just make sure that you have a tie down here, the 
black one is actually holding the gas hose up so it's not hitting the transformer coil so it doesn't get hot or melts. Um, most likely it's not hot enough to melt it but nevertheless I do not like to have polyethylene getting uh, brittle over the years because of the heat there and getting a gas leak. So all there is to it, I can run it while it's open, is when you turn it on and you pull your trigger you're gonna hear a small clicking noise and the deeper sound of the clicking noise is actually the solenoid turning on and off with the gun so whenever you pull the gun trigger you see that I get those in the picture then It actually turns on and off the solenoid automatically for you. This way you can do welding uh, with the shielded gas now. And all in all I spent less than 50 bucks on this material. So if you guys just look it up you can do it. Nevertheless, um, click, click down below, like and subscribe if you're interested to see further videos. Um, there are further videos coming um, towards aluminum welding, stainless, and so on and so forth. I have other welders which I'm converting as well. Um, I'm pretty sure there's an arc welder coming soon which I convert over. It's an old tombstone which I'm going to convert over to a DINS plug and also make it DC capable. Uh, so stay tuned and have a nice day.